Javier Vasquez, Human Rights Law Advisor for the Pan American Health Organization. Uh, the topic is health and human rights, and it has been a very important topic because for 10 years, uh, PAHO, in collaboration with member states, has been um, disseminating human rights norms and standards in the context of health services and health policies, plans, and laws. So this is the first time that uh, PAHO, the Directing Council of PAHO, is uh, calling member states to reform national policies, uh, national health plans, laws, uh, programs in a manner consistent with international human rights instruments, meaning treaties, protocols, covenants, and standards. Also, it's a very important resolution because it's um, establishing some guidelines for health authorities with regard to the collaboration with other branches of the government, the judiciary, um, the parla parliaments, um, with all other ministries of health, education, transportation, and at the same time, is calling for a more systematic collaboration with the United Nations and the Inter-American Human Rights Bodies, uh, such as the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights or the Committee on the Rights of the Child, the Committee on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women. So all these measures will um, improve uh, health systems and also will uh, guarantee access to healthcare as a human right in relation with other human rights. In this topic, health and human rights, uh, and over the years, civil society has been key in a technical collaboration. When PAHO is organizing training workshops, uh, for example, in the context of disability, mental health, HIV AIDS, aging, uh, or sexual reproductive health, PAHO always invite organizations of civil society. Um, and these organizations, uh, many times, are the ones that can certainly bring to the consultations and the training workshops the most uh, important issues that need to be addressed by international organizations, by governments, and by other actors. So human rights, certainly, is referring to the rights of the people the rights of uh, persons who are in civil society and uh, the, right of this per the right of these persons to enjoy the highest attainable standard of health. So it would be very difficult to really go forward in the protection of healthcare as a right without involving those individuals that are the um, subjects, the more important actors of uh, the a human rights uh, approach. In this topic, health and human rights, and yesterday in the consultations and the um, discussions with the member states, it was very clear that we probably were at the beginning of a new era in health and human rights here in the Pan American Health Organization. The first 10 years, uh, I would say that PAHO concentrated on the clarification, dissemination, training. Uh, and, and dissemination of human rights norms and standards applicable to health. What I see in the next 10 years is a more um, specific study and research on what is the impact of human rights instruments in the prevention of diseases and in the prevention of disability. And of course that this is a more complicated approach that is going to need a very careful review of all the results that are happening in the field in areas such as aging, disability, HIV AIDS, mental health, the creation of smoke-free environments, sexual reproductive health. So. In the next 10 years, what we would like to see here in PAHO, in collaboration with governments and civil society, is the development of trends, indicators, and measures that can really show that human rights instruments, like any other instrument in public health, 
is an in instrument that can prevent disease, that can prevent disability, and that can improve equity in health.